Howdy y'all. I'm coming to y'all a day earlier than I usually upload videos. My wife headed out of town to visit the kids, so I figured I'd shoot this week's video while I had some more time than usual. Today, I'll be showing y'all the Barusta Leca Taraba Dakari Puko 85. Now, please forgive my pronunciation on that. I'm sure I butchered it, and it took me a couple takes to get it out that well. I've had this knife for almost two years now, and it lives in one of the outside pockets of my backpack. It's gotten some regular use over the past couple years, and as you can see, some of the coating is wearing off in spots. I know some look at that as a bad thing, but to me, it's just a sign of a well-used and well-liked knife. Like I've already said, I picked this up about two years ago, and I ordered it direct from Barusta Leca. I paid something like $75 or $80 for it, including shipping. It's been well worth the money. Now, let's go over some specs. The weight is 4.41 ounces. The total length is 7.28 inches with a full tang and a lanyard hole. The blade length is 3.35 inches. The blade thickness is 0.128 inches. The blade grind is Scandi, and it has a nice sharp drop point if you need to get stabby with it. The spine is 90 degrees and will strike sparks on a ferro rod. The steel is 80 CRV2, and that's carbon, and it's sharp, hardened to 59 HRC. The handle is a textured rubber overmold, which provides a comfortable, secure grip. You can sort of see the texturing on there. And it does, it fits the hand nicely, and it's very comfortable. It's made in Kalhava, Finland, and according to their website, it's the region that has a long tradition in puko knife making. And the sheath is plastic, they call it a blade cover, and it comes with the wire belt clip. It holds the knife securely with a pretty good lockup. Not much wiggle, not much play in there but it draws fairly easily. Barusta Leca offers a Dakari Puko in three different models. This one, the 85, the 110, which has a 4.3 inch blade, and the 140, which has a five and a half inch blade. All models can be ordered with a leather or plastic sheath or no sheath at all. All in all, this is a well-made knife that will serve you for a long time. It's the perfect size when outdoors for belt or backpack carry and holds an edge extremely well. I've left the link for this specific model in the description if y'all are interested in purchasing one. I get nothing from any sales. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and feel free to drop any questions in the comments. Also check out my channel for more outdoor and EDC videos. While you're there, hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. It's greatly appreciated. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day.